hello guys in this video i'll show you how to effectively bind multiple functions to a single button on your controller so that you can assign almost anything you want and also i'll show you how to use the right stick of the controller which is like not possible in game but we can actually do it using the stream controller settings so first of all let's go to options and controls now starting from basics your steer stick should be the left stick unless you want the right stick and the shift up and down is based on your preference i personally use a and x for gear shift up and down now these are advanced settings which are usually which you usually have to change depending on which car you drive so i won't be talking about it in this in this video our focus is on control bindings uh, if you look at here there are three columns dark blue light blue and the green the green column is, is reserved for keyboard bindings so basically you can assign the buttons on your keyboard for this column now we are concerned about binding the controller which we can use uh, these two columns now let's see what's the difference between these two now let's say i want the d-pad left and right to act as next dashboard and previous dashboard phase of our car let's say this one is d-pad right this is d-pad left nothing special just using two buttons however if you use the dark blue option and again press the same buttons right and left you will see we have a drop down menu in here which we don't get in this column so remove it right now we are just going to use the dark blue options because we get advanced options in here if you click on the drop down menu you'll see there are two additional options which are which we can use usable with shift and extended input and you can change the extended time so what this means is if you click on extended input you'll see the timer icon pop up here this means that you'll have to press this button for a certain period of time for it to work so let's say i want it let's say half a second so if i press d-pad right on my controller for half a second i'll enable the next dashboard phase on my car let's use the same thing for left okay we have assigned d-pad right and left as next and previous dashboard phase but we have to hold on to it for half a second for it to work now let's say I want the same buttons to act as increase and decrease ABS again right and left you see these buttons are still there because we just need to click it for to increase the ABS right now now let's see what the usable with shift does if we click on here you will see this icon pop up now this is similar to the icon which we see in our keyboards the shift icon now how this works is let me show you using notepad this is basically similar to how uh, the shift button use uh, works on our keyboards now using notepad let's say i type one two three four five you see it normally types one two three four five now however if i hold on to the shift on the keyboard and again press one two three four five it will change to the symbols because that's what happens when you hold on to shift and press the same buttons now similarly in the game we can press we can hold the shift button and then press d-pad left and right to increase and decrease abs but which button is shift we have to assign the shift button ourselves this is not the same shift button on our keyboard this is a special shift button so basically you scroll down below and you'll see this option shift special button this is the shift button for our controller click on here and i personally use the left bumper on the controller because our right index finger is usually busy with the throttle and in the straight line our left index finger is free 
so we can use the left bumper to act as special uh, shift button so what this means is we have assigned four controls using d-pad left and right by holding and using the shift so i can also use the same d-pad left and right as left and right indicator you can see i have assigned now six functions so let's hold on to d-pad left you see the it is highlighted so basically d-pad left right now acts as left indicator decrease abs and previous dash space now let's see how it works let's go back to the car press drive now d-pad left and right if i just click on them they'll act as the indicators normal right but if i just if i hold on to them for half a second it will change the dash page uh, i think this is this has changed to one second yep you have to be careful to keep it as half second so uh, double check uh, if it is half second or not or else you'll have to press for a bit longer so if you just hold on to them for half a second it will change the dash page now if i hold on to the left bumper and then press d-pad left and right it will increase and decrease abs basically we have assigned six controls to two buttons on our controller we can do the same for again d-pad up and down and you can assign basically anything you want usually what i do is for d-pad down i assign rain light and light stages i'll show you how like d-pad down let's say enable rain light hold for half a second and cycle light stage again d-pad down so d-pad down for rain light as well as light stage let's see how it works d-pad down different light stages normal stuff but if i hold d-pad down it will enable rain light really easy now let's uh, also assign the ignition and starter shift i and s like this is we don't need to touch the keyboard at all starter let's say i am using button 7 for starter and ignition again button 7 but usable with the left bumper the shift button so basically one button for starter and ignition let's see how it works let's go back in the car holding left bumper button 7 turns on ignition holding the button so this is really useful if you want to do pit stops you can just hold left bumper and click on that button to turn off the car instantly really easy now now that's explained let me show you how the right stick works so normally we cannot assign anything to the right stick in the game it just doesn't happen the game does not register right stick at all you can click on right stick and it works but if you uh, like move the right stick around it does not bind to anything now let's assume i want to assign right stick right and left to look around like look like uh, look right and look left so right now i have assigned look left as the keyboard left button and look right as keyboard right button and i want the right stick up and down to act as mfd up and down in the car so mfd up and down i have assigned the keypad asterisk and keypad slash in the keyboard now to assign the right stick we have to actually use the help of steam so to do that uh, open your steam overlay by holding shift and then pressing tab on your keyboard and then go here on the top right you'll see controller configuration click on there 
when you click on there you'll uh, most probably see this page if you don't see it then just click on here recommended click on the gamepad apply layout you'll see this page go to edit layout on here we want to change the property of our right stick so click on joystick you can see the right joystick behavior click on joystick we want the right stick to act as directional pad and in the settings go to four way no overlap so basically we are using the right stick as a button pad so that it will act as four buttons instead of a joystick and go back now you'll see there are four options now we want to look left and right using left and right so click on add command go to keyboard go down this is for looking left so keyboard left which we just assigned in the game and this one keyboard right we have assigned that in the game so basically left and right arrow key for up and down i want mfd up and down which which, which was asterisk and slash of the keypad so let's go here asterisk asterisk and this one was slash of the keypad okay so now that that's done let's go back into the game and let's see if the right stick works or not right stick left right uh, mft up and down you can assign whatever functions you want this is just for demonstration you can also use the right stick right and left to increase and reduce brake bias like you can see right now well actually that's car electronics so yeah so basically and that's it guys